Okay, so now we're going to make our snowman cupcake. So just like before, we took our fondant, rolled it out and cut our circle. Make sure you put a little icing on the bottom to get it to stick and get that top ready. The snowman is white, so we have a white face that we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna use this mold. So this is a sweater mold. Now these, I think you may have to order online, uh, but you don't have to do this. I just wanna show you what it would look like if you did decide to go a step further and use these or purchase these to use for your cupcakes. You most certainly can use it plain and not use a sweater mold and it's gonna be super cute because I, I made one and it turned out to be pretty good. So to make the hat, so you just take your fondant, okay? And then we're going to place it on the mold. And the best way that I've learned to do it is to just take your rolling pin and roll it, press down really hard, give it one roll across like that and then start on the other side and go across pressing down really hard so that the imprint can get on your fondant. I'm going to take it and peel it away and it makes a beautiful sweater mold. Isn't that amazing? It doesn't look like it when it's like this, but when you put that fondant on there and press it, it just looks really pretty. So you're gonna, to make the hat for the snowman, you're going to take your circle cutter and cut out that design like that. And let's just put this to the side for now. Now to get the hat going, so you're gonna take your cutter and cut that circle in half like that. And then we're going to place it on top of the cupcake. Okay. All right, before we go any further, I wanna go ahead and put the smiley face on our, on our snowman. Use your tip as a way to put the indention of the little smile, it's already curved. So basically all I'm gonna do is take it, press it and rock it back and forth like that to put a little smile on the cupcake. Now this part of it is also a little round tip. To put a little dimple, we can just take it and just not put the whole circle in, but just kind of press the edge of that circle into the fondant to put a little smile on our, on our snowman. Okay, so let's, so we've got his hat going. So to get the little band that goes across the hat, let's move this out of the way, show you a little trick. So using your circle cutter, you're going to press down and cut a moon shape out of that circle, just like that. So we're gonna just press it down and cut a moon shape out. Then we're gonna take that moon shape and we're gonna place it on top of that hat like that. And he's feeling pretty warm right now. So now we're going to take the rest of this and y'all basically what I would do is just take it and then just shape it into a little ball. That may be just perfect to go at the top. To get it to stick, put a little dab of water and press that little ball at the top of his hat. How about that? Okay. Now to do the eyes, you're going to use some little black pieces of fondant. If you don't have a circle cutter that's really small, you can just take a tiny piece of fondant and make it into a ball and then flatten it like a pancake. That's one eye. Do the same thing, same amount of fondant, roll it into a ball and flatten it like a pancake. There we go. And those are the little eyes. Take a little bit of water, not much. Place the eyes up there. Oh, he's coming alive, Frosty is coming alive. And we're almost done. Little carrot nose, take you some orange fondant. 
You're gonna take just a little piece, roll it into a ball and make a miniature Hershey kiss by squeezing and making it pointy. That's the little carrot nose, y'all. And you're gonna just place it right there in the middle and you have your little snowman cupcake.